Okay, so today I'm actually here to debunk this term that hip hop fans use a whole lot. And to be quite fair, I'm in the blame of using it too. And I think it needs to be realized that a lot of people does not want to explain that type of terminology. And it's by far one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my fucking life. Because I realized over time that you have to keep an open mind when you do things like this, especially when you're studying hip hop and all this shit. You have to keep an open mind on certain things, especially when it comes to this shit. So today we're going to literally debunk the term corny. And the reason I want to actually debunk this situation is because people have been using it a lot recently and they don't know how to use it correctly. Now, granted, um, there's not an exact correct way to use uh, the term corny, but at the same time, it's definitely used in different ways where it can be used correctly or incorrectly. Now, the way people use it incorrectly is that they use it as a general statement against others who just basically how they look uh, in hip hop and how they speak. And it's by far one of the dumbest things I've ever fucking heard. Where the correct way to use it is just what they actually, the type of rhyme scheme they use, the type of wordplay they use, or just the type of things they will say. And like if they come up with basic shit in their raps, that's considered corny in a sense. Uh, if you basically know how to use the like common common rhyme scheme like it's basically how it goes like that pretty much if you basically judge it like that then that makes sense but if you're just um judging people by how they look and how they sound it's by far one of the dumbest things and then i remember when i was um watching uh a reactor uh the other day and keep in mind he's not a person that um that criticizes people because that's not the point of this video uh, the point of the video I'm trying to make about this part is that the fact that he literally said, when you talk about real shit, you're a cornball. You're corny. But then if you look back, Pac, Biggie, NWA, Slick Rick, Grandmaster Flash, you realize that almost a majority of these dudes literally have talked about real shit. And they're considered hip-hop icons. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out how the, and, and let's not forget, K-Dot and J. Cole has done this before too. But how the fuck are you gonna criticize them for being, being corny on that? Which goes to show you that a lot of people are not exactly smart about what they say. <laughs> Especially when they say shit like that. Like, and, and it goes through my community and I'm just sitting there like, you know, Hop was right about the fact that y'all don't evolve. It's not meant. It's not physically that y'all don't evolve. It's mentally. Mentally, y'all refuse to realize and do research on the internet about certain things. Because otherwise, I wouldn't criticize y'all about that. Like I respect my community, and I do that as much as I can. But the fact that y'all literally do this is beyond me. Y'all literally know how to do this type of research. And the fact that y'all can't tell the difference between um, how the internet can literally put out fake articles about certain people, it just makes zero sense. And then, literally, here's the other thing that's upsetting about this. <sighs> the fact that people don't get that, like, oh, yes, this dude is corny. He doesn't have the same thing as everybody else. Like, he's just now starting out. And that he sucks. He's not going to increase his value or his progression. And I'm just sitting there like, when the fuck was that a thing? You're telling me that the person that started their rap career for th almost three years, three years in, you're going to literally criticize them for being corny. Okay, first of all, let's debunk that statement for one second. Every rapper has corny shit throughout their entire career. Like, let's be serious here. They've said some corny bars throughout their entire career. Like, it happens. Like, again, 
throughout their entire career, there's always that one particular song, or maybe a couple, where they've said corny shit. And it happens. It happens. There should be no reason that we should be judging people because of that. And you're telling me somebody who has done this for six years is saying corny shit? See, that's where you know you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If somebody who has actually have dedicated themselves to rap has literally been doing it for more than six years, more than five to be specific, you're going to call them corny. Shut up. Get the fuck out of here! And, and this is why I literally stopped giving a shit what hip hop fans think, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about at times. And it just goes to show you that you can't really take these guys seriously at times because they realize that some of them are just talking out of their ass or they just don't know what the fuck to do and don't know what to say, but want to have a word in every fucking thing. Like, it just doesn't seem to add up at this point. And then, in case you guys, in case the haters want to say, oh yeah, who are you to tell this? Sir, allow me to reintroduce myself. Hi, I'm Zed Meister. I'm a hip hop historian. I've been doing this for the last, what, 15 years? Uh, almost 16 to be specific. And nothing has changed. And as a person who's done the studies of this, I will tell you one thing. There's more to hip hop than just being corny and having to deal with artists who clearly don't know where they rank as probably one of the best at all time. And also, I'm the person who actually makes by far the, well, I wouldn't say the best, but most accurate top 100 greatest rappers of all time. And literally, I'm not even joking, I have a list. Which, to be quite honest, I still need to go through, but good thing I have a lot of time to do that. Um, and But there's a reason why I've been um, avoiding trying to get this done. There's a reason for that, but I'll go back into that in the next video. But going back to this, I want to make this clear that a lot of people aren't exactly clear on the fact that when you literally talk about the simpleness of people calling people cornballs, I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. When you talk about real shit, that's the whole definition. It's your truth. It's your truth. If you want to talk about your truth, that's something that you want to talk about. And if everybody wants to relate to it, they can! I just don't understand why people literally get upset at the fact, oh yeah, you talk about corny shit, there's no reason to talk about it. Like, nigga, no. What the fuck are you talking about? People like Nas and everybody else, including Pac and Biggie, have literally said this shit, have talked about real shit, and you're gonna call them corny? And this is literally at the height of their fucking time. How the fuck do you talk about that? This is by far one of the dumbest things I've ever heard from every single hip hop fan known to man. And then you know what's killing me about this? When someone is trying to like talk about the society situations when it comes to how hip hop affects others, like for example, Hobson, when they talk about that, right? They call him corny for that because they, because they think, oh yes, it's corny because they don't like it. No, it's corny because y'all don't want to admit the fact that it's a real thing and people don't want to do things in their lives. They don't. And as a result, guess what happens? They lose, they end up in a broken job. They start losing all interest in everything they have. They chase so much for riches that they don't fucking wake up to the reality of things. And you're just gonna sit there and tell me that Oh, rappers shouldn't talk about this. Motherfucker, there's a reason why. Because everybody's doing it. And guess what happens? People overdose from drugs. They literally commit suicide after having one of the worst lives. After going through that fucking type of life. It just makes sense for them to talk about it. Because why the hell wouldn't they? And then, here's the other thing that's upsetting about this. is the fact that when you talk to somebody when they call them corny, you expect them to literally be honest with no one else. Like, you expect them to not be honest. This is what I hate about this. Because why the fuck would they not be honest? And being honest is corny as well. Again, like I said before, the hip-hop fans sometimes do not know what the fuck they're talking about at all. That is the end of this discussion. I'm out.